It's been about two years since I got some comics of mine graded. I'm about to change that. Want to know what I'm sending in? Stay tuned and find out. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris and this is my channel We Love Comics and today I'm going to show off a couple of comic books that I am about to get sent out to be graded and I cannot wait to see what the results will be. Now obviously everybody has different preferences of all the major companies that do pressings. You have CGC is the main one, then you have CBCS and you have PGX. Well these I'm going to be sending to PGX and I'm going to make sure you're not going blind. Sorry about that. Um, one of the I've dealt with all three companies. Don't have a problem with any of them. Each one has its strengths. Each one has its weaknesses. It's all about personal preferences. As far as customer service is concerned, PGX, for me, has been one of the best ones. Now, I know value-wise, it's a little bit harder to sell some of the books. You won't get the same price. But they offer the dry cleaning. They offer the pressings. Um, their, their turnaround is amazing, and they offered me a special, um, deal that I couldn't pass up. I actually messaged all three companies, telling them I have my own comic book channel, I wanted to do an unboxing video, and I wanted to see if you offered any discounts for your services. CGS didn't reply. CBCS didn't respond. PGX was the only one to not only respond but offered me a 30% discount and said they will try their best to speed up the turnaround. And I thought that was a great deal, something I couldn't pass up. Now, they said it was only for four books, but you know what? That's perfectly fine. So I have four major books that all four of them need a dry cleaning and a pressing. And with the 30% discount, I, I can't complain, and I'm looking forward to this. I'm going to be doing the um, eight-day turnaround which is only $5 additional per book, so an extra $20 to get them within eight days, and they are running on schedule, and they said they'll try and make it even faster. So we'll see what happens. So uh, by the time you watch this video, the packages, uh, the package will most likely already be on its way. It'll probably be arriving and picked up by Monday, and I should get it within about a week, week and a half. So let's stop making you go blind. <laughs> and Sorry about that. And uh, let's show the four books that I'm going to be sending, sending out. So here's the first one. This is my Avengers number four, which is the first reappearance and the first Silver Age appearance of Captain America. Uh, this one definitely looks like it would probably get, in my opinion, with a dry cleaning and a pressing, it would probably be around the 3.5 range, maybe a 4.0. So um, we'll see what happens when it comes out, but I paid $600 for this book. I thought I got a pretty good deal. Um, staples are intact. Looks pretty good. Looks like the colors have like, yellowed a little bit, but still off-white. A little bit of a um, grease pencil marking here. And again, like I said, the fading a little bit in the letters there. Um, I think this would get a 3.5 to a 4.0, but we'll find out. Next one. This is my second copy of this book. Definitely needs a dry cleaning. I don't know if a pressing will help, but the dry cleaning definitely will. And as you can see, that is Hulk 181, which is the first full appearance of Wolverine. Um, there's a lot of dirt within the words Hulk, so that could definitely clean that up. Uh, there is a color break right here and here. Uh, the Marvel stamp is intact. A couple of little color break breaks along the spine. So I would say with a dry cleaning, this would probably be about a 4.5 to maybe a 5.0. I think the 5.0 might be pushing it, but I guess it depends on what kind of job they can do as far as cleaning it up. All right, next one. This is definitely a key issue. And this one I think is greatly going to improve with a dry cleaning in it. Uh, pre again, pressing will probably won't help this one because it's pretty flat, but the dry cleaning aspect definitely will. And this is Action Comics 252, first appearance of Supergirl. Um, the only thing that's keeping this a lower grade is there's some fringing from here up. There's some fringing that um, splits the uh, front and back cover. 
but it doesn't affect the staple. Now, the staple's barely holding on on the top staple, but it is holding on. And I did write on the back of this book that to be careful when you open it because of that fact. There is a long color break increase here, so a pressing will not help that because it can't do anything about color breaks. So I think with the cleaning, I don't know how much this will take off, but I think with the dry cleaning, you're looking at a 2.5 to a 3.0. Oh, and to give the price, I forgot about that. Um, for the Hulk 181, I spent $757 on that book. For the first appearance of Supergirl, and I got a really good deal on this. I paid $551.50, so not bad for that one. And I'll put that over to the side. And then, last but not least, this one I'm so looking forward to because the pressing will absolutely help this book. It's the number one book from my top... Uh, purchases of 2017 and that's avengers issue number one now it's hard to see in the um camera in the video but this cover is completely wrinkled a dry cleaning will smooth that out so you can't do anything about the color breaks along the spine there is a color break here um, the colors are a little bit faded there's a couple of little things here there's a little piece missing here with a couple of stress lines that break color so I would say, with the pressing and dry cleaning, I would say a 3.0 to a 3.5 pushing a 4.0 would not surprise me. I would be very happy with that, considering I only spent $710 for this book. But uh, at this point, I'll take anything I can get with these. So those are the four books. We have Avengers number 4, Action Comics 252, Hulk 181, and Avengers number one. Now, with the discount, after you include the extra money for the pressings and the extra money for the, um, instead of 30 days, uh, it'll be eight days. And with the shipping and handling insurance, uh, it's going to cost roughly about, well, I'll tell you exactly. Give me a second. I'm sorry about that. I thought I had the paper near me. I'll show you exactly. Well, I'll tell you exactly. The total cost to get these graded will come out to approximately $163.50. So that's not bad at all, because you're talking four high-end Silver Age books. I mean, well, one of them's Bronze Age. But considering how much the other companies would cost and how long it would take, and they also do not include pressings, and you have to be a member for CGC... Um, I don't want to pass this up because I really just want these slabbed and I'm very curious to see what the grades would be. So as far as resale value, I mean, if I'm going to sell my comics, that's going to be a long time down the line. So I'm not really worried about that. And if I get like a really super grade, like if all of a sudden this came back a 5.0, I can always send it to CGC later on and get it reslabbed. But basically for me, the PGX with the pressing and the dry cleaning with their faster on-time service... And their customer service makes me want to go with them. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean they're right for you. And that's okay. You can use whatever you want for your comics. Just don't hate on me because I'm doing something you may not agree with or may not like. Because these are my books. And if I want to blow my nose on them, I could technically do it. But uh, that I definitely won't be doing. So, I'm going to be sending these out by the time you finish watching this video. If you appreciate it, thumbs up. Always show the support. I always appreciate that. Uh, if you want to share it, you're more than welcome to. I will not complain. Don't forget to wait until the end to see who's the surprise subscriber shout-out. And uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't, because we want you to be a part of this channel. Because, like I always say, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. And I will see you next video. I'm hoping for a high grade. Keep your fingers crossed. My eyes and nose and toes will be as well.